No, I'ma put it down like that. I'm leaving, I ain't coming back. You don't like the way I act anyway. You really don't have to react. Don't try to change my mind, in fact. Honey, I've already packed all my stuff. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to a new vlog. <laughs> this is probably like the first, maybe second time in this year that I'm properly dedicating the week to vlogging because it's been a bit of an adjustment into 2024, okay? Um, but it is Monday. I am just starting my work day. This morning I woke up and I washed my hair because I undid it yesterday but I never washed it so I washed it and then I'm busy doing treatment right now. I don't even, guys, <laughs> trying to live a plasticless life sometimes costs you okay when you need to do hair and i don't have anything to wrap it in and i don't think i have cling wrap either i think i might be out of cling wrap so i'm just gonna leave it like this let it absorb for like an hour or so and then i'll go and wash it off but yeah i'm thinking of blow drying it as well and then maybe try and put it into conros and then i can wear my wig for the week but yeah welcome to a new vlog I went to a book festival this past weekend. You probably would have seen that vlog a while back because <laughs> I'm going to actually edit it and post it sometime this week. But this vlog is like in a long queue of vlogs to be edited. So anyway, I went to the Ilembe Book Festival. I'll put like a picture up here and it was in Durban and it is a book festival that was created by a couple of authors. I think most of them are from KZN if not all and it was a fun time. It was actually really nice. We saw some book influencers as well, book reviewers, book Instagrammers, booktubers, book people there and yeah probably would have tagged them in that video but yeah i had a i had a good time but then i was like so exhausted like yesterday i did nothing <laughs> i did nothing but kind of like well i did laundry because i had to and i basically slept i had a bad headache and i decided to take a painkiller i think this is why i don't like pills <laughs> i took one alcohol and I was drowsy the whole day. I slept, I took a nap for like maybe two, three hours. I woke up and I felt like I could go straight back to bed. And even at night, like I fell asleep so early, like I was just so sluggish and feeling just tired. I woke up tired, so I missed my wake up time, which is 4.30. So I would, I wake up at 4.30 in the morning and I would read for 30 minutes. And then my plan is to actually do a 30 minute workout. 5.30, I am helping the family just get their stuff ready for work pack lunches and then i would usually like shower before my work day starts it didn't happen that didn't happen what am i reading i just made some coffee let me show you what i'm reading um still reading the same book that i started last i don't even know what happened to last week's vlog honestly i just I don't know but i am still reading house of earth and blood by sarah j Voss. right now i am on page 244 guys i'm enjoying this book i'm loving this journey i just don't have time to sit down and read but also i think i'm coming to the realization that you know what i don't care how long it takes me to read and re or reread the book one and two i want to enjoy my reading this year that's it that's the goal i want to enjoy my reading yes i'm still aiming to read a hundred books but i feel like if i actually enjoy my reading well, doesn't matter if it takes me two weeks to read a book or it takes me two days because sometimes i do have the time and i can literally binge a book for two days that happened with the housemaid those days happen and i will welcome whichever way 
my mood my situation allows me to read and enjoy books the goal is just to enjoy what i read but yeah this is what i'm reading this week going uh nice and slow with it um making sure i am gathering all the info i need to continue with the series i'm loving that i'm already picking up things that i had already like forgotten so yeah right now we are like well into this investigation we are getting to see more and more of the characters more development on the characters more history on the falling or what do they call it whatever the, all the situations that happen whether it was the the north rift where it was a time when all the veneer the veneer are all the magical beings crossed over to this world and renamed it renamed megard whatever it was called before and we also get to know a little bit more about hunt ethelar's history and how he became part of the people that are now called or part of the angels that are now called the fallen how he became a slave and kind of like glimpses of what he went through and we also keep getting to know a little bit more about Bryce and her upbringing and why she has such a bad relationship with her biological father and half brother and then also with Rune and how he grew up and his way of upbringing because Rune's father who is the um, leader of the Fae or what, Autumn King they call him um, the Autumn King he doesn't have any kids and or he didn't have any kids and then he got I picked a woman to basically bear his child which was Rune just so that he can have an heir and I guess it's okay for them not to have kids or lots of kids because they can live for centuries but it's like this woman gave birth and then nursed the child and then they just chucked her away and gave her money chucked her away because it's like you served your purpose and that's it but yeah rune also like this love i don't even know this this love hate relationship that he has with his father and all the pressure that he's under to be um this person that he's not and his rebellious nature to all of that i think makes me like him even more but yeah i'm happy i'm enjoying this book and uh yeah so this is what i'm reading this week as well it's kind of like my main read but i need to also touch on other books this week which i'm going to go grab and then i'll come back and talk to you guys about it red ink by angela mccullough i want to at least read maybe the first five chapters or something like that because on friday this friday the tv adaptation is coming out and i think it's a tv series and i want to at least read the first couple of chapters that maybe will be covered in the first episode so that i have something to compare to because right now i i don't know the story i have no idea what the book's about but i did um see angela at the event this weekend and she signed my copy so she signed my copy Yay! um i didn't know that i would love having my copy signed because like you you want to cherish it more right i didn't know i would want that and especially for books that you haven't read but yeah she's so she's so nice and her discussion um on publishing and getting your books from tv adaptation or from books to tv adaptation and how that process is i think was very very interesting even for me who like i'm somebody who is not really interested in that side of things but i found it to be an interesting conversation and i think it gave a lot of value to people who were there and are interested in that kind of thing so yeah red ink is also on my radar for this week to at least read maybe the first three chapters it also looks like a quick read so let's hope i just need to slot the books in and then um i need to also get started on will will is our february book club read so yeah so we're starting with will and i need to at least also read maybe a few chapters or maybe like 
I need to see how we are separating the book so that maybe I can try and get to page 50 by the end of this week and then uh, see how we separate the chapters going forward but yeah we are reading will for the month of february so this is what i got i realized that so i'm not somebody who's like very big on valentine's day and the month of love and whatnot <laughs> romance is not a big genre for me and therefore valentine's day and the february being the month of love is not really i don't really go out of my way to pick romance books to represent the month but if we had to just for just at least i have a fantasy romance series that i'm reading this month which i'm covered and if i read um, house of earth and blood and finish it i definitely have house of sky and breath on my radar next so yeah also nails 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 love this color like i did a very kind of like bright but at the same time pale pink last week i spent two days with it i hated it <laughs> i hated it and then i i removed it and i went for a gray and i went i felt much better but i was like you know what let me get it professionally done and when i got there to change my nail color i chose kind of this it's actually a very light brown but because of my skin tone i feel like it has like notes of of pink in there and i love it i love it this is definitely the nail colors i need to keep to the browns the reds the greens this that's what i prefer so yeah physically i've got house of earth and blood i've got will i've got red ink and i just house of earth and blood i'm trying to finish but everything else i'm just trying to at least get to a certain point and then on the dear kinsels on the beautiful kinsels oh, i love it i i need to find a cover that is not frosted like this even though it still looks nice but it's not the colors are not as bright as i need them to be so from the kindle i am currently reading okay she's waking up wake up my little babes I'm currently reading The Housemaid's Secret by Frieda McFadden. Frieda McFadden has definitely moved up to become one of my favorite psychological thriller authors. I absolutely love the way that she writes her thrillers. She usually does like multiple perspectives. Right now, we're just hearing from Millie's perspective and it's been a few years since the first book and right off the bat in the first chapter she basically gets fired from her current job as a maid because <laughs> rich people <laughs> so she was a maid for this family i don't know the name and she was not a permanent maid so she was there like a couple of times a week and she would do cleaning work all around the house but then once in a while the woman the wife would ask her to babysit but she would give her like no notice at all like she would call her Millie I need you to come babysit my child like right now it's not like she does not give her any notice and a situation happened when she was there cleaning and she was finishing up and she's like oh Millie I have a very very important thing to do I've got my a pedicure appointment and I really really can't miss it so I need you to take the baby and Millie's like but I've got class in an hour and now she's blackmailing like a guilt tripping not like a guilt tripping mm. Millie um telling her that but <laughs> you know this is very important to me I cannot be going around with like ugly toes you, you have no idea what my toes look like Millie I'm pretty sure you can miss a couple of classes you know it's not gonna mean anything and then Millie's just like but what do you mean and then the child was in the playpen the child wakes up starts crying the mother picks her up no no she starts crying it, the mother doesn't pick her up she just looks at Millie expectantly like hey can't you hear the child crying so Millie goes and picks up the child the child you know comes down and the child starts saying mama to Millie Oh, that's where it all goes wrong. 
she goes and says mama to Millie and the, the woman gets upset she gets really upset he's like what is this like why is my child calling you mama it's like no I think she's just like really like getting confused the child is like 18 months or something she gets confused um instead of like she doesn't maybe she's getting confused with how to say Millie and she says mama and it's like no are you here telling my child that I'm her mom and then Millie kind of like insinuates but I'm like you know but I'm the one who really takes but she cuts herself like are you insinuating that I'm a bad mom give me my child you know and then the child cries even more goes to her mom but then still reaches for Millie to like mama and then she's like nope you're gone so she got fired and she's out of a job we don't know what's happening and that's kind of like where I am and in this book she has a boyfriend she's been with this guy for like six months but the guy doesn't know her secret right because in the first book gosh I can't even tell you what happened in the first book because if you haven't read it then it's gonna be a spoiler go read the first book <laughs> but the this boyfriend doesn't know Millie's, Millie's history and now Millie's down in art and she's kind of like afraid to get too close to this guy but they've been together for six months she's afraid to commit to him even though she's found a guy that she really likes and he seems to really like her and you know cares for her and all that but it's like if you know my secret you are not gonna stay you're going to leave so yeah um that's that's where i am so yeah that is the housemate housemate secret on my kindle so i normally read the books on my kindle if like I'm in bed I'm about to sleep and I can't like hold a chunky book like that but I want to read something or if I am at the office and it's lunchtime it's easier to carry my um, Kindle and read from my Kindle than with a physical book so yeah that's that's what's happening um, so that's all the updates I my hair is um, getting treated let me show you what I'm using because I'm actually using a new product to treat my hair I saw that uh, is it dark and lovely has a new range of products to help strengthen your hair and retain length so I'm trying it out and then we'll see how it goes but I didn't get the whole range because then it starts becoming expensive so I just got the hair treatment let me go show you what it looks like so this is the new uh dark and lovely pro collection and this is the pro renew replenishing rinse off mask so this is what it is the glare sorry for the glare this is what it is i hope you can even see there you go so this is what it is and it says it promotes moisture retention which is what I need and it strengthens hair from root to tip it has biotin castor oil and keratin and promises to give you 10 times stronger hair and it's formulated by African hair scientists and is for natural and relaxed hair so I can use this on my hair and my daughter's hair and there's a it's made in south africa by african beauty brands i love that i don't know all this so purifies the skull promotes fuller hair strengthens and retains hair length the shampoo massage the mask into the hair applying evenly from root to tip leave for 10 minutes then rinse at least once per week okay so i should actually be going to rinse this because now i've had it for 30 minutes maybe yeah okay I'll go rinse this out and then we'll chat later let me get into my work day oh guys what a morning I'm about to take my lunch the hair is done it is washed it is puffy it is soft um I want to attempt to do conros I don't know how to properly do like neat conros but i want them to be for a wig basically wig line is what i'm trying to do but yeah my hair is washed it is moisturized it is i blow dried it a bit but i'm not a professional i don't know how to do this so it didn't really stretch that much um 
but I think it's fine it's stretched enough that I could brush it through so it's like detangled but this is a length check right now it doesn't seem to have like grown as much but I don't know when was the last time I even checked like a month ago but yeah let's see this is the this is the length check there is a bit of growth uh, length check at the back let's see this is length check so yeah um i thought it would stretch a bit more but i got tired my hand <laughs> got really tired so yeah this is what it looks like in like afro form slightly stretched um but yeah i actually like that it's like full and puffy and soft and i'm gonna attempt to do wig lines <laughs> but i need to go make my food first I think I want to have a vegan bowl with some, I think I want to do a bulgur wheat. I've got some vegetables that I have cooked up so I'll chop them up and make them into a nice bowl for me to eat. So yeah, let's go do that and then I will start attempting to do my condos. I hope my arms don't get too tired. I'll try not to make them too thin because I think that's gonna frustrate me so yeah let's go make some lunch i am dedicated to eating healthier this week morning um, having my hibiscus rose plus rose petals tea I actually really enjoy this tea it's the first one where it is fragranced but I can also taste like the tea like the flavors and I actually really enjoy it it is from that shop that um, spice shop that I went to it's a spice and a tea shop in um, Hartebius Sport that I went to when we went to go do our groceries at Yasmin and I found all the good things all the nice things and I'll go grab them right now so I can show you but I've been enjoying this tea so in between when I'm not drinking coffee then I try to make the tea let me go grab them for you so I can show you and then we can get into this update so the shop slash brand is called two nine i don't know how i'm meant to um pronounce that but it's two nine products and they are in have to be a sport so they saying this stuff is like 100 percent natural established in 2021 and this is the tease so it just says floral on the outside but i've got the hibiscus rose and then I've got the rose petals so I put both of these into my tea I don't know if you'll be able to kind of see what it looks like in there probably not um, and these are dried rose petals as well and they make that beautiful uh, reddish color into the tea and they have a very nice smell like this hibiscus has a um, kind of like a flowery sweet scent this is also flowery and sweet but because maybe it's hibiscus rose but anyway I'm reading I'm reading I'm just reading really slowly 
I thought I would have time to read today. I dropped off my daughter quite early, like before seven, but I needed to go to the uniform shop at school to just pick up a few things. So by the time I got home, like, I didn't have a lot of time anymore because I thought I would have an hour to go out for my walk before my day starts but now I have what 15 minutes before my day starts so I thought let me just sit here drink my tea and give you guys a reading update so yeah I've been reading but very very slowly uh, let me grab all my things okay firstly audiobook wise I am listening to Iron Gold by Pierce Brown yes i already read this book a couple of months ago but i feel like i rushed through it and i don't know i have like when i was sitting back and thinking about it i'm like do i know all the fine details of what's happening in the story because i feel like the first book in a story is very important this is where your groundwork has been done this is where you get to know the characters the histories the world building all the things and yes this is a fourth book in the series but it is the second era of the books so it's it's almost like starting a new series yes we've got the main characters who ever survived <laughs> from the first trilogy but we are also introduced to like a bunch of new characters and this story is told in multiple perspectives whereas the first three books was only told from Dara's perspective. So in here, we're hearing from four different perspectives. It's Darrow, it is Lyria, a girl living in Mars, and they just recently got uh, rescued from Mars, but the place they were put in is for her worse than where she came from. So it's like you liberated us but this is not better i would have rather been in the mines essentially and then we hear from another character that i can't mention because it might be spoiler for book three but this character gets introduced in book two which is golden sun so we hear from there and then we also hear from a guy called Ephraim. So it, the story takes place 10 years after the events of book three. So yeah, rereading this one mostly, I haven't picked up the physical, I'm just mostly reading it um, through Everand and whenever I'm driving I would just listen to it and I'm listening to it at, like at 1.2 times speed. So really slowly. I'm going back to re-listen if I don't hear, so I'm not rushing through it because I already understand the story. I just need the little plot lines and the build-up to what's going to happen in Dark Age. And then on the Kindle, I am reading The Housemaid's Secret by Frieda McFadden. I'm currently on chapter 6 and according to the Kindle this is page 60 oh page 34 so yeah also look how cute my Kindle is pretty pretty cute so I'm trying to also use it more often because I do have some books saved on here and I do have Kindle Unlimited currently which is why I have I'm reading uh, Freddie Frida McFadden there because they do have basically all of her books it seems to me and yeah so I want to get into that and read so hopefully I can finish a book this week I don't I don't know if I will and then the main the main event is here I'm currently now on page 296 I thought I would have 30 minutes of reading this morning but I have not had time to read and I won't have time to read during my lunch because I have to run errands but yeah, I'm on page 296, I'm at a point where we've got the roommate situation happening with Bryce. If you know, you know. If you don't, it's all right. But yeah, we've got the roommate situation and we're getting to a point where Bryce and Hunt are realizing things about each other and that actually whatever I assumed about you is not really who you are and I'm getting to know this other side of you that I wouldn't have 
um, the privilege of getting to know if you know we were not in this current situation so yeah the investigation is still underway um, we are slowly finding out pieces of the puzzle and they're working alongside Rune Danan which is her cousin and we're trying to sort out the story so I know that we're still gonna be introduced to other characters I'm just anticipating getting to them but yeah I'm still I'm still reading this book hopefully I can make a nice huge dent in it by this weekend and hopefully finish it this weekend so that I can get started on my my other reads so yeah this is this is currently what I am busy reading for this week. I want to at least finish this and then start with my will reading because that is our book club read for the month of February so yep that's the update. for the whole of February I didn't actually pick up my camera for vlogging at all if if any um, and <laughs> I've been going through it I've been going through it but the current and biggest issue that I'm like experiencing right now is a blue screen on my home laptop let me just let me show you i'm having an issue look at that look at that i'm having an issue with my laptop so the one night we were watching something on it and it wasn't plugged in and then as we were watching it switched off and i figured that the battery went dead that's what i thought but now i'm questioning if it was something else and then yesterday we spent like half the day not having electricity so by the time the electricity comes back i'm like oh let me charge all of the devices i charge my laptop i power it on what do i get bit locker screen <sighs> i felt so frustrated yesterday because we bought this laptop last year already installed with like all the necessary software so we didn't set up anything so I don't have a bit locker screen so I did a bit of research and there's some steps with Microsoft Office not at Microsoft Office but on Microsoft that you need to follow in order to get your bit locker key they give me a bit locker ID but then when I log into my profile on Microsoft there's no devices listed on there i can't add a device using the serial key only the only devices seems to want to add it's like xbox <laughs> so i'm just like i don't I, I just don't understand so my laptop is not working i need to figure this out it is stressful it is annoying it is just yeah <laughs> I don't even I don't even have the, the the words to express how I'm feeling about this but um, I'm sitting in a situation where my content is on this laptop like softwares I can always reinstall that's not a big issue but software sitting there my documents are sitting there I'm really I'm really annoyed and um, yeah. anyway I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys the books that I am reading this week which I'm like I'm still all over the place actually this week in terms of my reading 
and uh, a bunch of things that I'm reading and listening to but I'm not really getting to because it's also like a really hectic week for me but um, starting with the Kindle I am currently reading The Housemaid's Secret which I mean I can't really show you the cover because I have to then go all the way to page one to show you the cover unless maybe I go if I go out would you be able to see on my library I guess but yeah I'm reading The Housemaid's Secret and I'm currently on chapter let's see what chapter am I on I'm currently on chapter 25 and that is 35% into the book so enjoying it so far so good I have to like remind myself to pick up my kindle because I'm not used to reading on my kindle but it's been very easy to read on it especially when I'm like it's in the evening and I'm really tired and I'm like I'm too tired to hold a book or like I'm in bed and I want to get a bit of reading done while my husband is asleep and then I whoop out whoop out whoop it out <laughs> I whoop out the kindle and yeah I read from from this so this is what I'm reading currently really enjoying it I think um, I'm just reading it slowly so it feels like it's taking long to get to the crux of the story or bits of the plot twist because I kind of binged book one but I have to like remind myself that I'm the issue here I'm the one going slow on this so yeah reading the housemaids I still have will that I'm in the middle of and I'm currently on page 144 of Will. I'm mostly listening to this on audio and then coming back to like tap the specific sections that I find to be like lessons that I want to remember. So yeah, so far so good. I'm really enjoying the audiobook. I feel like with this kind of story, I myself am enjoying the audiobook experience of this and I'm glad that I have it. But I've heard like people saying that they're not enjoying like the singing or the music part of the audiobook but for me it's great it's part of the things that I love and I'm glad that he did that because music was a very big part of his life and his um, career so yeah this is what I'm reading um, what else am I reading I think that's about it there's another book that I'm reading but it's for a specific video and uh, I'll talk about it for that video. I have to like keep that in mind. I'm starting this very late because it's a Thursday, but let's see what comes out of this vlog. And at this point, if uh, I cannot restore my files, I need to start taking more content again because I don't have loads and loads of content sitting on my laptop waiting for editing, which is upsetting me because now I'm losing all my Ilembe content because i was in the middle of editing that video i've lost oh guys i've lost okay i'm not gonna put it out there i haven't lost anything because i have not reset to this laptop i'm still trying out a few things i think i want to probably take it to like an it shop or something so they can have a look at it and um, see if there's something they can do for me but yeah we'll see okay um let's go make some coffee i'm about to start with my work day i'm tired guys i can't wait for the weekend this week has been like really long really the past two weeks actually it's been really hectic work-wise um oh, look at those amount of emails that i need to go look at yeah i've been working a lot i've been working late into the evenings and i'm just really really exhausted but i thought let me pick up my camera let me at least get something going um maybe picking up my camera will also uh, motivate me to really slot out time to read because i haven't had that which is why i haven't picked up my camera because this is supposed to be a reading vlog but what happens if i don't read <laughs> You know what I mean? Let's go make some coffee.
Bahrain International Circuit, we meet again for the first qualifying session of the season. It is finally time to set the grid for the opening round of the Formula One World Championship in 2024. And today, around this circuit, we need some big questions answered. my body just refuses to let me wake up like late I can't sleep in <laughs> um, my version of sleeping in would I guess be waking up at 6 6 30 but funny enough I don't feel tired mm -hmm. right now but I do know that if I will keep waking up so early I go to sleep early which is fine on a normal day but on a Saturday it's not fine um, especially because I've got a lot of things going on today and um, it's going to be somewhat of a long day but I wanted to come on here and share a bit of uh, a haul with you it's a totally true haul but this is only a portion of it because I the rest of the stuff I've ordered from take a lot but I mean you already know it it's those um, standard serums that I buy with the black African soap that I use to wash my face. So um, I think it's 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 working. I've been using it for like two months now. This is the third time I'm going to be using it. But I had a spot right over there which is actually getting lighter um, and another one here getting lighter these ones i think maybe they're like really deep in there because they take a bit of time to lighten up but if i eat good then it will help the process because then i won't break out but i haven't been eating good which is something that i need to fix and um i need to actually look at some of my cookbooks now to plan out my grocery and the stuff that I want to get but yeah um, I'm having my hibiscus rose and rose petals tea it's a combination of the two and I actually love this tea this is like my favorite tea right now because it smells good and you can still like taste a bit of that flavor and um, we're actually going to Yasmin today so I'm gonna pass by that uh, tea and spice shop and I can get some more tea I want to try other flavors because I still have like half of the hibiscus and the rose petals so I can carry on probably for another month because I also ordered some matcha Wendy has finally shared okay <laughs> She's finally shared um, the brand she uses for matcha, so I bought that um, to try it out because I've been looking for matcha for a while. I found these sachets from a Chinese supermarket close to me, but and I liked it. It was uh, a bit sweet as well, but it still left a bit of a bitter aftertaste, so... I'm looking forward to trying this one out when my delivery arrives and um, see how that one tastes but yeah I've got my tea guys okay, so firstly from wellness warehouse I've got this um, salt of the earth the crystal roll-on this is my first time using it but if you've been here for a while you know that this is like my daily get this like this is my daily um, roll on that I use so this is from pure beginnings and um, it is the monsoon relaxing ylang ylang roll on deodorant it is vegan it is organic it's natural cruel beauty without cruelty and honestly I actually really like this this I think like retails for maybe 30 40 rands but it lasts me for a good two months or so and it's really great it's water-based 
but the only thing is during the very hot days when I need to like go out it doesn't last the whole day right and to compensate for that on those days where I would like go to work or know that I'm going outside or going to do some kind of like physical work I would then use the Mitchum gel you know the one where you screw at the bottom and it brings out the gel but I don't actually like Mitchum I don't like it because it leaves my armpits le like feeling sticky even after washing like it feels like I need to like really scrub to to get that out and maybe it's because I'm so used to having like a water-based product that I'm not used to that sticky feeling it takes long to dry so if I'm getting ready and I'm in a rush I can't because I have to wait for it to freaking dry where this is like in a minute <laughs> we're good to go but um, I was still looking for a solution for the very hot days and then a friend of mine put me on this um, crystal deodorant now I <laughs> this is also okay so this one is from salt of the earth uh, classic it, that's the brand salt of the earth is the brand it is unscented it is a natural deodorant crystal um, the ingredients are potassium and alum a natural mineral salt literally those are the only two ingredients on the ingredients list I'm trying to focus I don't know if you can see this maybe it's too far but yeah if you can literally those are the ingredients it is uh, vegan and it is approved by the vegetarian society oh and it says it's 100% natural ingredients it's long-lasting protection which is what I was looking for it has no white marks which I can attest to because I've used it twice now it is multi award winning it's suitable for vegetarians and vegans it's not tested on animals and it's suitable for children over six years old so you can use this on kids as well it says I'm the strong dependent type of deodorant you may not see or smell me but I work as hard as you do and I leave you no trace naturally and <laughs> wait, my washing machine is going in the background um, but I like that they said this because this is what I was about to say that putting it on you don't feel like anything happened you can't see anything you can't smell anything like it has no smell the lady said this could last for like three months like this little it's literally like a, a crystal ball but it has no it doesn't leave any kind of residue so when i used it for the first two days i was like this is not working <laughs> but I spent the whole day with it and there was nothing so let me just give you an example so this is the crystal on the side of my hand um, you see there's nothing that happened and then just to give you an idea of the uh, pure beginnings one on the other side is that I'm almost out but can you see like the bit of um, product on there with other side there's no product at all and it just feels smooth but there's like the water-based product it's already starting to dry but yeah this this is what I um, I've been using it's water-based as you can see there's no like oily kind of residue it really blends in really nicely so I, I actually still really like this one but I wanted to definitely add the crystal so this one is quite expensive um, the crystal roll on retails for 200 rands but she said it could last like three months if not more 
and at the rate that it's going like I've used it twice you guys see nothing even happens it doesn't even shift this could probably last me for much longer like I'm thinking probably four to six months so it's expensive to buy on the go but it lasts longer so I guess it makes sense Okay, and then from Flex, I got um, Epizone, the Epizone A cream. Um, this is what my daughter uses on her skin. It's great for people with eczema. My daughter did struggle with eczema when she was younger, but ever since we started using these, this, and the E, so we use the E in winter, as well as the pure soap, the pure glycerin soap. She has not had a flare up in literal years. Like, we don't struggle with that anymore. Okay, and then I've got this hair juice from Pearl Tussie's Black Pearl uh, with Afrobatetics. Really love this, really works great as, at like softening your hair and um, can't wait to use it because my hair has been feeling like a bit dry but I think it's probably because I've been having braids for such a long time like back to back and I need to kind of take a break and then I've got my favorite moisturizer like body moisturizer from Good Earth and these this is the argan oil one normally I would buy the sheer butter one but I wanted to try this one because I mean they do the same thing and it just smells so good oh this smells so good so this has um it's an argan oil body butter with uh Argan oil is nature's gift to skin to nourish and protect. This is also vegan friendly and it is stamped with a good earth promise. It's beauty without cruelty. Absolutely love it. But yeah, it says good earth products are thoughtfully created using sustainable antioxidant rich ingredients and recyclable packaging, which I really like. But yeah, this is the the Good Earth um, body butter. This is what it looks like on the front. So we've got that. Um, I've got some wax strips for uh, underarms, um, and then also from like the same product, Good Earth. I've got the sheer butter hand wash also really love these hand washes currently i've got the argan oil hand wash in my bathroom smells amazing and then uh, then lastly i've replenished my um, hand cream so at Tilix they have a three for two sale on these products which actually they have that quite often so if you're interested to try them out they've the, this is kind of like their range of the products they've got the hand wash and uh, the hand cream and then the body butter and I saw recently they added a body scrub so I'm definitely gonna want to try that out probably in the next month but yeah this is the argan oil hand and nail cream absolutely love this and I like the consistency thick consistency absolutely love this it um, moisturizes my hands and it makes them smell so good but yeah this is what I use to moisturize my hands and uh, absolutely love this product smooth 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 okay that is it for this haul I have a bunch of things to do today. I am washing laundry. That's why the noise. Um, we need to go do grocery shopping at his main. We were supposed to go to a tennis match. It's the last one for the term, but I think we're going to skip it today. Next week, she's going to be starting with a new sport anyway. So with that said, 
I need to go look for mouth guard and shin guards because my daughter will now be doing uh, hockey at school as her winter sport so yeah that's what we're doing so I need to look for those things we need to go past um, the gym we have signed up for a gym membership at Planet Fitness it's actually not the Planet Fitness that's gonna be our home club but they're currently running a promotion to allow us to join or maybe not currently because it sounds like yesterday might have been the last day but they're running a promotion to have you join if you have vitality and you don't pay any joining fees and because we specifically told them that you know what you we can't go to your branch it's kind of far from us it doesn't make sense but maybe over the weekends we can go then it's, it's not bad it's actually more closer to her to my daughter's school but we've got a shopping center that's currently been built and so, but we currently have a plan of fitness that is currently being built very very close to our home and we've been holding out for that gym to open for like months and months and months um but they're still busy with construction and according to this lady they are planning on opening it on the 25th of april so that's like two months from now but if we join we can maybe once in a while over the weekends go to the other one and then we'll transfer maybe hopefully they'll let us go visit because we're actually not paying anything until end of um april so yeah that's what we're doing so yeah we're going to the gym i need to go look for those um shin guards and mouth guard we're gonna go to yes main to go do groceries um we're gonna drop off my mom's portion of the groceries at her house come back um then it's either we are going to watch the formula one race at our house and have a bride and have our friends over which is option one of today's plans or we are gonna have to find a babysitter for Nael and then go find a tiger's milk somewhere and go chill with some friends and watch the first race of the season we are so excited um last night we watched the qualifying which mm, is whatever <laughs> You know, the qualifying and um we'll have to see today how everything goes but yeah i we've got a lot oh i need to taxi some stuff as well i'm thinking of recording a book haul because i do have quite a number of books to haul and it's only what it's the second of the month I don't want to wait until end of March to um, to do like a bigger book haul because then I'm going to have, I would have distributed some of these books and probably as well as wanted to have started read some of these books and I'm not going to be able to, to keep up unless I make a list of it somewhere which feel like a lot more work <laughs> for me to do but uh, I'll decide what to do but this is I guess going to be my reset vlog for this month I will try and take you through all the things that I spoke about but yeah I'm gonna enjoy my tea and I will speak to you guys later good morning it is gardening day and it is so loud it is just so loud today it's been like this literally the whole morning and um i'm in a situation where i've got a garden and <laughs> they made a noise this morning and in my front as well my gosh okay let's try this again later okay let's try again <coughs> sorry also i think i'm like coming down with something I am looking for something 
I'm trying to go to where the book is. I'm trying to show you guys what I'm currently reading on the Kindle. How do I go to the very first page? Because I like to show the cover because it looks nice to like see the cover. So this is what I am currently reading on the Kindle. I'm reading The Housemaid's Secret by Frida McFadden which is book two of three in the Housemaid's series. I think this is what the series is called and okay here's my thoughts. So I absolutely loved book one and if you've watched my previous vlog talking about it you would know that I absolutely loved book one. I gave it five stars. I thought that it was gripping. It kept me on my toes. I couldn't stop thinking about it especially since I got to like part two of the book. It felt like oh my gosh this cannot get any worse and it did and it was fun and it gave me stress and I loved it. Um, but then when I get to book two sure enough I'm still intrigued. I'm still intrigued by the book. I'm still intrigued by the main character. However I think this one maybe might have been a little bit slow where in book one things really started going wrong from like the get go. Like she didn't waste time with things starting to be weird. So with this one things kind of like unfold a little bit slowly but also it might be because I am reading it much slower than I did book one. I think I read book one in a space of like two to three days where I've been busy with this for like two weeks which it could be a pacing issue on my end but character wise I found myself getting upset. <laughs> getting upset with our main character and not in a good way. Um, because in book one, yes, there's things that Millie was doing and I was just like, no, Millie, don't, 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 don't. Um, but this time around, I feel like the decisions were even dumber and I'm just like, okay, your justification for why you are going through with this or why you're going to this much trouble, this much length to help mm. this person it's not logical it's not logical I understand the kind of like career path you're trying to go into but at some point there needs to be limits at some point you need to also ask questions you can't just blindly you know throw yourself into a situation because you really really want to help this person so I really did not agree to that because I was like mm -mm, something is something is not right and me knowing what I know about Frida McFadden and the way that she writes her psychological thrillers. I know there are going to be multiple plot twists within this thing. And sure enough, the moment we got to book, not to book, but to part two, I was just like, here we go. <laughs> I was just like, here we go. Millie, you win and made stupid decisions. And now here we are. And you've put yourself in this mess of a situation. How do we get out? And this is kind of like where I am. So I'm currently on, um, I don't know what page I'm at. I think it's a 300 350. Okay, this goes by location. Okay, I'm, I'm new to this thing. So I've, I don't know uh, where, what page number it is. It works on location. And Okay, it's still loading, but I think I'm about 84% in and I've mostly been reading this book just before going to bed and I've been so exhausted in the last three days that I'm probably getting like less than 10 pages in and I really want to get in there because I am intrigued. I am intrigued. I am currently... Okay, let me see. Stay here. Yes, I'm in 84% in. I'm on location 3,230. I don't know what that means for like in the grand, <laughs> grand scheme of things. But I'm 84% in and I would really like to finish this book today. And I thought that they would have cut me off by now. But I guess I haven't reached my um, 
end date yet to for Kindle Unlimited because I did cancel it. Um, I'm still on my 30 days free of Kindle. But yeah, I'm, I'm really, I am enjoying it. It doesn't feel like a five star read like the first one did because of me not really agreeing to everything that Millie is setting herself up for. But at the same time, I'm just like shocked <laughs> by the audacity, the audacity of this woman, this other woman, not Millie, this other one of Wendy, her audacity, yo, and the desperation to go to the length that she has gone. No, it's absolutely, it's absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, this is where I am. I am also uh, currently and mostly listening to uh, Sky of House of Sky and Breath. How far am I? Because I've been listening to this book while I'm at the gym or while I'm driving. So I'm currently on, this is how far I am, I'm currently on page 434 of this one. It's going good. The smut, the in here, the the angst. <laughs> this one is is definitely more spicy than book one because Hunt and Bryce are now like officially, unofficially from in the beginning of the book though, but now officially together. And I love it for them. I love it for them. I love it for me because I do like that spiciness in their romance, that bit of banter. Although Bryce does flirt with basically a lot of the guys on there. But I, I, I see who she actually flirts. Like she flirts with the people who I can tell she knows can handle it, but still will understand the boundaries oh why is it still on hold but would still understand um the boundaries of it so yeah i'm listening to this and then i am also very busy huh i am also currently on page 200 of will by will smith and mark manson absolutely enjoying the audiobook of this one we did have like our final review of the book club for this specific book However, I'm not done yet. Uh, I'm still planning on finishing it in the month of March and I actually have to like sit down and record my TBR video for March. I know what I want to read, but I also at the same time, I want to do my TBR job because I really like it and I really think that it's fun and it's been really great to me. And I just needed another video to record for you guys because uh, <laughs> I'm in the process literally right now of uh creating a windows 11 media file so that i can reset my laptop so i've um, come to terms that i have to say bye bye to all the content to all my personal data and everything that i had on this laptop because yeah i've tried now for the last couple of days to get it sorted out i took it to an IT specialist and they help me with all the information they can give me to try and give me a bit locker key but unfortunately I can't get it Microsoft is not very helpful in this regard which really upsets me and Asus also not very helpful so yeah I'm kind of annoyed <laughs> with all of them right now but yeah I'm just gonna reset because at this point I haven't been able to use this laptop for like a week and I've had to resort to going back to the old one which is like really really slow and there's no point in trying to fight this any longer I am just gonna have to restart my life again on this laptop I'm hoping that I saved a lot of my documentation and things on the external hard drive when I was setting up the laptop in the first place and moving like stuff from our old laptop so yeah it shouldn't be too much of a train smash I believe that everything that I lost could potentially be replaceable except for the content of course that you guys are never gonna see but this opens up an opportunity for me to record more videos so yeah that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go make my matcha. I haven't even made my matcha yet and I haven't eaten. I haven't drank water 
nothing to do. Um, so I'm gonna go do that. Actually, before I go too far, oof, the glare behind me. I'm using the small tripod. I'm so lazy to put you guys on this one. <laughs> Maybe I should, um, but honestly, yeah, I'm lazy. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna just try to put you here. Okay, so I did mention earlier that I've got to take a lot of package to show you guys and I actually need to go pick up another one today so I'll show that to you later um, I've actually started using some of these products already but I mean it's nice to do this for thumbnail uh, first things first we've got this uh, Chebe Chebe Shea Bata Organic Hair Food absolutely love this um this is from nubian rock a company called nubian rock i love the consistency of this it's quite thick which is how i like my um shea butter but it's it's thick but it's also soft and if i can maybe show you guys so this is what um it would look like and once you like blend and moisturize it nicely it easily easily like blends it. so i really love it i use this on my hair and i guess it would be um i don't know if it's good for skin or not but it's very moisturizing and yeah this is what i have on my hair currently which is why it's kind of like white it's also wet but it's okay because of when i was in the shower this morning i just ran water over my hair and i never dried it and then i've got two of these african black soaps i really love these i really love these i use this for my face and then from i bought these from the brand or company called standard which is the same company where i've been getting my serums lately and this time around i've got the two percent alpha albertin as well as the um, vitamin c this is what i've been using for the last two months so this is going to be actually my third month using these products i'm pretty happy with them um, i'm seeing some progress on my skin i think i did mention it like i had a dark mark over there which is like going away i had another one here that was going away still need to do these ones take so much longer to go away but maybe because i'm back at the gym now and trying to eat more healthier trying to drink more water i haven't started today so i need to get on my water and then i can cleanse this body skin from the inside out okay and then from red s so I got this um, gourmet chocolate powder and it's in the flavor salted caramel I mainly bought this for my husband so this is vegan which blew my mind when I saw it um, it was one of my selling points because I saw it and I'm like oh, I'm gonna try that out but I need to justify it to my husband somewhere <laughs> he likes hot chocolate and I've been looking for like vegan hot chocolate options and he he said okay let's go ahead and try this one so it says it's a cafe quality hot chocolate from the cafe range so i got this i haven't tried this yet and then i also got the uh, green tea chai latte from the same brand and these this is the instant matcha latte made with 100 percent japanese matcha this one is not vegan it is vegetarian because it is made with uh cow's milk i would love for them to make a vegan option of this this would be excellent but it tastes really good i tried it yesterday and i absolutely love the taste i can't wait to make it now as well i want to make a um a cold brew matcha i haven't even had coffee today i haven't had coffee today okay and then the big thing that i got is this wooden monitor visor and i got this to help 
mount my monitor because you guys let me show you the current setup this is the current setup do you see that do you see how i'm using my dear books as uh, a monitor mount which is not good so um, we bought this it's actually quite big I didn't expect it to be this big but the idea is that I want the monitor right in front of me and then I want my laptop to the side and then but in order to have that work I need to get a keyboard as well to go with it because then I can type on the keyboard so that's what I need to buy next but well this was stuck to the scissors but yeah i wanted to i've had this sitting for like two days <laughs> because i kind of wanted to unbox it with you guys and see what it looks like okay i hope it doesn't need too much assembly Ooh, i need to eat eh? i really need to eat this is wooden. These are definitely metal. So these are the, um, I guess, the stands. It's not the same height as what my books are, but I think it would be good enough for, to get a good eye level. The stand itself is wooden. There we go. The stand itself is wooden, and then the legs are... Um, metal so this should be a quick and easy enough process to put it together Hello you guys, um, this is the first time that I'm probably speaking to you this week, but obviously I'm at gym, this is my gym fit, I need to replace my um, workout sneakers because these are getting really old, but also I need ones to handle my fascist planter and these ones are not really doing the job right now so 
they're very comfortable for running but um, my foot still gets sore after a while but yeah this is my foot this is me done with my workout for the day so I'm about to head home and um, we'll probably talk later good morning you guys oh it's been a couple of days it's been a couple of days I am quite exhausted um, it's Sunday it's the last day of this vlog somebody just woke up good morning, good morning my angel <laughs> okay and I just woke up but it is Sunday so this is gonna be the last day of this vlog and I've got a bunch of stuff to do and I thought that maybe I should come on here and say hi to kind of like get this day started so first things first I got my hair done sometime this week I think it was on Thursday evening I went to go get my hair done um, I'm very happy it looks pretty good and can yeah can I get a hug mm. <laughs> So yeah, so I, I got my hair done. I don't know, you guys probably saw my nails at some point. Um, these are the nails. I think on this side. These are the nails that I got done. So happy with it, but this one broke. So one of the things I have to do today is go to the salon to get my nail fixed. So I made an appointment for 11.30 yesterday. I was not at home because we had a family funeral so I spent the day out which means I didn't get to do any of my chores that I usually get to do on Saturday including doing laundry <laughs> so I'm actually busy hanging laundry right now while listening to my audiobook and I'm about to do the second load. I'm just soaking some of the whites because I have to pre-wash the whites, like especially my daughter's sh shirts and socks. I have to pre-wash all of those before putting them in the washing machine. And if you can hear my voice like this, it's because I'm also getting sick. Oh, I am sick, I guess. I'm coming down with the flu that I'm trying to fight so hard. But it's difficult but yeah I've got all that to do tidy up the house meal prep for the week all before two o'clock because my daughter has a play date at 2 30 so we're gonna go to the clay cafe with some of her friends from school and then we've got these cubicles that I bought on Friday from Leroy Merlin that we need to set up and put in her room i don't know when all of those things are gonna happen or if i'll even get to all of them but yeah it's a long day it's a long day today there's a lot to do so i will show you what i can um but if it's gonna slow down my process i'm probably not gonna show me doing the thing i might just like especially when it comes to the cubicles for example if my husband sets it up i'll show you <laughs> but i'm probably gonna have to help him put it together just to make it go by faster and then maybe i'll show you guys when i set it up in her room and pack away her toys and stuff like that so yeah that's the plan for today and then i'll close off this video also maybe i should give you a um, my thoughts on the housemaid secret which i finished on wait let me try to put you down somewhere okay, so i finished the housemaid secret on friday i think i finished it on friday and i think i'm giving it like a four star rating one because in my mind i felt like it was a little bit a little bit slower than how book one went book one which is like bam 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 
action, 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 plot to person, plot twist, things were escalating like really, really quickly and the mystery element of it was like, was really there. Whereas in book two, it started off a little bit slow. I think maybe the author was trying to get us to know a little bit about what Millie got up to in the last, I don't know, five years or I don't know how many years it's been since the events of book one. But she's kind of carried on doing what she would do for these women. If you know the premise of book one, you will know what I'm talking about. If you don't, it is a spoiler, so I'm not going to mention it. But she kept doing that for a while. And at this point, she was just going about her life and studying to be a social worker and 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 and, and. and um, she was in a new relationship so we got to see that a lot and for a while you could not really see or I could not really see where the story was going and it's only when it started kind of like unfolding where things really started to pick up but I like the characterization of the story. I like Millie as a character, but I feel like the decisions that she was making some of the time was even more stupid <laughs> than the decisions that she was making back then. I feel like in book one, it was more, I don't want to say, it was it, it wasn't really dumb decisions in book one. It was more of, I've been so out of touch with the world. I've been so out of touch with like relationships and love and all that. And she was more gullible in book one. Whereas in book two, man, I don't know. I did not agree <laughs> with the decisions she was making. I was just like, no, Millie, that is not logical at all. Why would you do this thing? It makes absolutely no sense why you would think this is okay to do and why you feel like you will throw your whole life away just to like help this stranger that you do not know and understand the circumstances that would bring you to that point but I guess her character is, his character is very extreme in the way of uh, doing things I don't know but I did not agree with her method of decision making which is why it lost a star because I was just like no no Millie um, but as it went through and we really got to the crux of the story and the plot twist came and I was just like okay the, one, the first plot twist I, I could I figured that out so that was not a surprise but the second one I was just like I was not ready I was not ready for this and then when the third one came and I'm like I knew some way somehow you would be involved but it's just the method of how 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 was this thing gonna get delivered okay so yeah that was it so I gave it a full star rating I would definitely continue to read books from Frieda McFadden I really do enjoy her psychological thrillers mysteries I think she does a really a very good job of it and she absolutely loves doing multiple plot twists so whatever plot twist you find in the book just know it's probably like it's not gonna be the last and she lo loves like last sentence twists as well <laughs> where you just like you know my gosh and it leaves you thinking about the book um, even after you're done which i guess it's a good thing so i give it a full cool star we could talk moonlight We could stay to watch the sunrise Cancel all our plans We don't need a reason why we just can't mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish I could stop time And stay in this moment, never think about Oh, won't you stay with me for a little while?